Y'all, hi. Good morning. Welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. You guys, I'm drinking out of my morning fuel coffee mug this morning because I am on one. I am so excited to go to Quartzite this week. I haven't been to Quartzite yet this, this winter, y'all. This is I'm packing up for my third season. I've been doing some desert camping that, I mean, that you guys have seen, right? But not in Quartzite yet because... Um, some people ask like, what's the draw of Quartzite? The draw of Quartzite is, uh, all of the free camping, right? The, the Bureau of Land Management land out there and the community. That's the draw. It's a small transient town. There's like nothing freaking there, but the draw is, um, is the community and being around people like you or like us or like me or whatever you want to say. So, um, super stoked. So in this video, I am packing up the minivan and I just spent a few days with my mom and my sister and I'll tell you guys what that female family energy I'm like okay time to do some camping by myself you know what I'm saying so I got a few packages and I also have to pack away my Dollar Tree stuff that I did from my haul yesterday but I figured I'd show you guys my packages so <laughs> You guys know I use baby wipes like all the time for everything. I think so many of us do. But like it kind of weirds me out because as a child free woman, I have like these like baby wipe packages like all over the place and like I just don't like it. So I got some reusable baby wipe containers for like $5 on Amazon. And look at how cute these are. So, and they even have like a little strap, not that I really need that, but I love it because it's just like a little Ziploc. Yeah, how cute are these? And it's like my colors and then, you know, it's, it's just a little thing with the thing. So aren't these great? $5. I got these really pretty, you know, vibrant designs. So I can have one in my purse, one in my van or like two in my van or whatever. So anyway, so now like every time I pull out my baby wipes, it won't look like I have like a child that I left behind somewhere. So $5, I'll throw those in um, a link in the comments for you guys. But I, yeah, I'm pretty excited about them. I have Amazon Prime, so they took like a day to get to my house. So, okay, so that's package number one. Now, this next one, y'all, where is my knife? Actually, I think my knife is out of reach. I'll use my hatchet to open my box. This next one, y'all, stoked, stoked about. Don't mind me, I'm just going to open my box with my hatchet. You know, just normal, just normal Amanda things. Okay. I always have my hatchet within reach and I just sharpened this bad boy. So, okay. Do you guys like my hair today? Oh, I'm a mess, but I'm so excited. Can't you tell? Okay. Oh, yes. Yay, yay, yay. So... I am so grateful to be partnering with Get Out Gear to review this blanket. As you guys know, I don't review stuff unless I know I'm gonna use it and potentially, hopefully love it. So Get Out Gear sent me this down blanket. It's a lightweight blanket and um, yeah, it's a down puffy blanket that is supposed to add 15 degrees to your sleeping and it even turns into a poncho and it's water resistant. Heck yes, and it's like a teal color so it goes with the aesthetic in my van. So I'm going to be um, testing this out this week um, and then reviewing it for you guys. So I'll give you my honest opinions because it's not a cheap blanket, right? But um, it's high quality and I'm really excited to share my thoughts with you. So. Yeah, be looking out for an honest review on that. So so the baby wipe uh, containers and then the 
the blanket are like my new items for the week. And then of course I did my Dollar Tree haul yesterday. So now we are going to, well actually, so I got my, I got my gnome and Becky Rawlings, if you're watching this, you inspired me to get a super cute tablecloth because of your minivan camper setup that you showed us. Um, so Becky inspired me to get a tablecloth for my camping table. So it has gnomes on it and it's for fall. But what I also need to do is take these things out of the packaging. So this is the push light that I got. I got another one from the dollar store. Okay. And I love it. So I got another one. So I think what I'll do is, and actually I want to see about, does this bag have holes in it? Yep. Okay. So this bag will be used as a trash bag because it has holes in it. So I don't, I don't use bags with holes for like my toilet, for example. So take out my light and then I'll put in my batteries and then I'll save the other three for, um, backup of course but I like to get all this stuff done like if I haven't hit the road yet I like to get all this stuff done before I do so but I also really like running errands and like shopping when I'm you know when I'm traveling because I just like it feels good to restock right you know sometimes Dollar Tree stuff can be kind of kind of cheapy I'm just trying to Nope. This has like a bent, this has like a bent part to it. Okay. So anyways, I'll mess with that later. And then I need to store the rest of this stuff in my storage bin, take off the tags, got my brush, my lighter. And then I decided I'm going to get one of those taco kits again from Costco. And I'm actually going to separate it into these little containers and then store that in my fridge. That'll be a huge space saver. So now let's store everything in my storage. I think I forgot to tell y'all that I actually switched out my Yeti again to put this storage bin in there. Um, it's a little bit smaller and I honestly, the yeah, I just, I think I like it better. So, um, I might still bring my Yeti with me to NASCAR for camping, but I ended up putting this back in there. So this is what I'm going to fill with the items that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. So here are my kitchen utensils, so I'm going to put my spoon in here. So I had my camera sitting on my aluminum table here. So that is the first thing that I pack in. And then I put my big blue Eddy solar panel, kind of like, kind of like so. And then I have my Rot Pals. And then what I started doing is I have my little storage cube here. So I'll put my storage cube, my wooden table, and then my 
sink kind of sits back here like that, or it can go on the ground, but either way works. Ta-da! So I can also put my sink on top of this storage cube. As you can see, I still have space back here, so I have plenty of room for more items and things and whatever. Um, I have like extra toilet paper that I could put in my storage bin. Um, I have my uh, paper towels and I also just got two 60 cent rolls of paper towels at Walmart that I'm excited about. Uh, I should probably make sure I have like enough coffee and stuff. Looks like I'm good. I might grab a few more kujus and then my brush. I'm excited about my brush which I can actually hang on this little hook if I wanted to. Yeah, probably just put it in my hygiene caddy but for now, I think we are good to go back here. So I'm thinking maybe I'll actually do like part two of this packing video. Because this is already longer than I expected and I have more to do and I want to show you guys really the full process that I'm going through. I also want to take out my blanket. I still need to pack other blankets and um, I cleaned off my camping table because it was kind of gross and dusty while wow, my hair is... Ugh. I'm hot mess express. I'm driving the hot mess express today, y'all. But anyways, um, I took my little storage things out of the wrapping, so I will also need to separate the taco kit to get that ready, and then fill my new wipe bags. We have a lot to do, so I guess stay tuned for part two. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.